Yeah, Corinda showed me how to stream um, live video over on my website. So that's really cool. Okay. Hi, and welcome back to the Blab.Cafe. This is episode number 64. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and or services. I've got a hashtag in there that is a little bit cheeky, but it's time to start. Um, it's time for you to start. If you haven't started, you need to start. If you haven't uh, put any kind of video content up and available for people to see on a YouTube channel or any other place, um, you're welcome to come here and get your feet wet with recording video content. You can come in and do kind of like an elevator pitch and we can publish it. We can put it out there. So thanks for joining. We'll get started right away. Hi, welcome to Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and or services. Today, I have Bruce Turner in the room. How are you doing, Bruce? I'm doing great. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty long day. Absolutely. So uh, what do you want to tell me about your uh, business projects that you're involved with? Sure, absolutely. Uh, first of all, I work remotely. I'm a development manager for uh, Christian Care Ministry. We have an alternative health care program called MediShare. Uh, there are actually three health care sharing entities out there. Uh, it's significant because they have an exemption in the Affordable Care Act. So for people who don't necessarily want to go to healthcare.gov and get a government program. There are uh, alternatives out there. Uh, the three are Samaritan, um, one's called CHM, and then there's ours called MediShare. And it's an opportunity for people to get uh, health care and, and be exempt from paying the penalties of not having health care, you know. And so it's uh, our particular uh, company has been in business now for 23 years. Our members, uh, just over 170,000 members have shared $1.3 billion in each other's medical bills. Um, so it's a different concept. It's kind of like the old co-op concept. It's really what insurance used to be, where a group of people in a particular locale or community would come together. And I think the operative word back then was pool. They would pool their resources together. And when somebody had a need, uh, kind of like the old Ar Amish thing, you know, when somebody's barn burned down, everybody would come together and, you know, build it back together again. So it's uh, it's kind of that that concept. And uh, it's it's been quite interesting. So I I uh, I work from home. I manage a uh, a team of 12 uh, remote people who work anywhere from New Smyrna Beach, Florida to Seattle, Washington. And we answer people's questions about uh, MediShare. So, yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, mm -hmm. So what I can ask you to do is go ahead and share your links in the chat bar and uh, take a note of this blab.64 or blab.cafe number 64. And if okay. you do me a huge favor, and that would be to go to this website or over to the Google YouTube website and uh, share those links in the comment section below, as well as in the chat bar here just to make sure that I get them twice. Yep. The reason for that is sometimes if a link goes Absolutely. missing, it's nice to have it in there because it makes it convenient and quick. When I'm doing all of the video editing and stuff over on YouTube, I can just extract the links and put them right into the show notes. And then I also put a timestamp in there so people can fast forward to a section that they want to get to. So cool. Thanks a lot, That's Bruce. Great. Yeah, awesome. Yep. All right. Take care. Hi, welcome back to the Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Today I have Melissa Paz. Is it Paz? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. <laughs> I could have said Paz, like La Paz. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm from La Paz. Well, it's, it's Spanish, so Paz, but you're not going to Paz, gonna be yeah. yeah. Paz. So how are you, and what is it that you do? I understand it's eBay and Amazon. Yes, I am a full-time eBay and Amazon seller and coach as well. And I want to review that last question I asked you before we went on air. How sure. did you get into that in the first place? Because you said you've been graduating from college. Yes. 
Uh, I was in the process. I was actually in my last year of college. I was about to graduate from a degree in anthropology with a minor in French, so completely unrelated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was about, oh, God, 10 years ago. So eBay was still pretty new, but I've always been really into trying all the new tech stuff. So whatever's out there, you know, I've been on the Internet since forever. Um, so I started selling my used textbooks. Because I figured out really quick that I would make more money by selling them on eBay than trying to send them back to the library. They weren't going to give me not even half of what I paid for it. So welcome back to Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and or services. Mr. Wonderful is in the house, otherwise Hello, known Don. as Eric Rosner. Hello, Thank Don. You, Eric. Hey, happy uh, Monday. No, Monday. Happy Monday. Monday. Happy Monday. Monday, Monday. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty good. Uh, so I guess you've taken my advice and you decided to post some of your artwork in a jewelry store. I did. It was uh, harping me that like you keep mentioning this thing, and it's like oh, I gotta do it. So I took your uh, wise wisdom and uh, I made these pieces, and I think they look freaking awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get over there and do this seamlessly. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And it looks like that. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> that looks great. Yeah. So that's obviously the front of the uh, store. Is it a single sided store? Um, what yeah. I mean is they don't have like a, they're not on a corner lot or whatever. Yeah. It's a single store. It's in Santa Monica. And um, those are on paper, Epson paper. And uh, okay. really vibrant colors, really beautiful. I think it looks cool. I'm going to try to zoom in there a bit more. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so this is your art. And uh, maybe you can explain to people what your, what your idea was behind this. Yeah, well, if you look at a lot of um, jewelry stores and websites, it's pretty much the same stuff. I mean, if you took off the name, they're all the same stuff. And it's... Uh, uh, one of my mentors, Earl Nightingale, who's like an amazing motivational speaker, said, never follow the followers. You have to stand right. out. So, you know, you try to find these uh, ways to bust in. So the jewelry art is basically, you know, uh, jewelry as art, art as jewelry, mm -hmm. and trying to bring out the, uh, the beauty of these pieces and uh, kind of bring them up front instead of like jewelry on a white background, which everyone does. So yeah. um, I just think it's uh, a nice uh, new direction. Uh, I think uh, people, millennials who want to buy new art and pe people upcoming, they, I think, in my personal opinion, they want like a new story. So you have, to, you have to change your marketing once in a while to appeal to a new market. So I, I thought that was a new way to, to do it. Yeah, and I really like these pieces that you chose for that store. Well, one of the things, though, then I was going to ask, too, is, is I don't know if it's a question or more of a statement, but I would think that at some point in time, this will become a product that the that the store owners might be interested in, maybe contracting with you to actually make other pieces for the same kind of idea. But at that point in time, then you're talking about something that is would definitely be something that could generate income in a different way. You know what I mean? Because yeah. If I mean, there's I a person coming into the shop and they're interested in the art, looking at it like that, and they're saying, oh, this is really great, because I noticed that on the top of it, it says sale. So that would be to them, they might think, oh, well, this is just another advertising banner. Mm -hmm. So it's not for sale. It's just like a poster. So somebody didn't put a lot of thought into it. But then the person that was behind it, they might go, what you could do is just go back into the same shop and just say, I want to post some of these pieces with the same format on canvas or on a very high quality paper, but I want to be that I want them to be framed. And then I want you to have my card in the corner with a price on there. So a person can purchase it at the time when, when if they see it and they want it, they'll be able to purchase it that way because then yeah. that way, if they're looking at it and it's looking like an advertising banner, it's looking like an advertising banner, but if mm -hmm. it's, if it's framed, it looks like a piece of art that they're actually selling. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, uh, I thought of that, but you know, the the jewelry guy, his main pro- topic is to sell the stuff. So uh, they wanted to put the, the sale on there too, because there was an old. I replaced the old one, which had a, it just said sale. That was the big yeah. sign. So to to uh, to uh, get that in there, they had to put I had to put the sale sign in there. I mean, eventually, I would want to get a commission where I would illustrate, you know, you. The unique pieces. I mean, those pieces are not unique to that store. I would have like, you know, if they had like some some piece that they wanted to push or some signature piece, and I would illustrate that, and that would be the highlight. But um, you know, it was just to get it in there to see what the reaction was. But uh, I mean, their yeah. their really ideas. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's in Santa Monica. You know, it's a very trendy area, and what they had. I mean, what they had before was just these. I mean, every no one's going to stop by and look at these cases they're just boring you know I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, those uh, cases are actually extremely boring because for one thing you can barely tell what's in them yeah uh, i was going to say that uh it you can't tell if it's if it's um like a necklace or if it's right. um, i don't know from a and distance it's, it's the same marketing you've been doing for years decades yeah. i mean yeah. uh, you look at any jewelry store I mean, Earl, I don't know if you know Earl Nightingale, but he's like this amazing motivational speaker. And he basically says, like, when people start up a jewelry store, they're going to do what everyone else does. You know, yeah. so what does this guy do? Oh, let's do the same thing. So any jewelry store looks exactly like any other jewelry store. So why should I go? The only differential is the price. Why should I go here when I could just go here? You know, there's no yeah. real why. So, I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, that's the beauty of Apple because there used to be a store called uh, Comp USA. And uh, it would sell everything computers. And it's like every place you went were computer stuff. And it had tons and tons of things. But there's so much stuff. You didn't know where to go because it was over, yeah. you're overwhelmed with stuff. And I wanted to get something, but I had no idea where it was or where I could even imagine. And the salespeople couldn't care less. And Apple Store, they, they have stuff, but it's totally limited to what they have. So they have sections where you can go and exactly see where it is. So... You know, it's just another idea of thinking different, which is their motto. But um, if well, you do the same thing everyone else has done, you're going to get their results, which is this. This was yeah, this was my idea with except for the exclusion of the yeah. sale. That, Sorry, because no. well, it's it's okay, but I mean, I know that you you wanted to get it in there one way or the other. But what I could do is what I would do if I were you is definitely take the same idea, same concept, and get rid of that sale and just go into a shop that's willing to say okay. We'll put your artwork up here as is on there. Yeah, I mean, because when you're in a high end store, obviously this guy's he's OK. I mean, he's it's a smaller sorry. shop. What yeah. I'm talking about is high end, because obviously you're talking these pieces look very high end. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying that they, you know, they well, should match. This is sort of like a test. So I think yeah. I'm going to try to approach in uh, Beverly Hills next. But, um, yes. you know, that they're a little Ooh. more snobby, so I have to see if that works. <laughs> hey, you want to hang this in my in your store? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! Well, that's what I was just working on the other day. Is I was building these uh, little tabs so I could put some of these. Uh, I was going to start sharing over to Pinterest too, but I have to have like products that I can share to Pinterest. So with yours, it's it's actual product that you sell, which is your artwork. So that I could actually post on Pinterest because if someone says, for example, that they are, mm, what would I say? If someone says to me, like, I am a motivational speaker, for example, or they are uh, a speaker, or a life coach or something, that is content that is something that I could not put into a photograph. I mean, I could because I'm artistic that way and I have to be creative, but I could come up with pretty good pictures depicting these motivational speakers or whatever they are. But with your art, it's your art and I can post it on Pinterest as it is, you know, so I can go, okay, this is, this is a piece of art from, from Eric and uh, you know, there's this links, a Rosner art. So I can put that together on my Pinterest page. But for, like I said, for, you know, life coaches and coaching and all that stuff, it's, it's a different, you know, it's a different animal. It's not yeah. something that people are, would be, I don't know how uh, attractive it would be if you put those kind of ads on Pinterest. I just don't know if it, that would be. Yeah, I think your effective. words really have to sell you, you know, instead of a, a fancy sign or something. You really have to like get people excited about what you're saying and what you're trying to uh, 
promote. I mean, you know, yeah, accomplish. I mean, there's tons of those people on 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 Blab, and um, yeah. sometimes they're interesting. Sometimes like uh, they kind of like saying to say the same thing over and over again. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. So I, I don't know what we're gonna Welcome back to the Blab.cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and or services. Today I have Alex Rodriguez in the house. Once again, he's gonna do an announcement. <laughs> hey guys. So what kind of stuff you got working on? Oh well we were just sharing about you know my motion graphics works as well. Uh, I think last time we spoke, we were talking about my podcast and I'm always developing content, but because my background the beginning, the beginning of my my work in the field of advertising was in video. Um, I just uh, wanted to share some of my video work, which is mostly um, computer generated graphics and motion graphic design. CGI. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, since I already have that link, and that's the link to a video, which would be, I would consider that like your. Um, what would you call it? Like a video calling card? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a motion graphic show reel is what what I used yeah. to refer to it as. A show reel. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so we'll go ahead and share that over on YouTube so people can find that link, and yep. I'll add that to the uh, show notes. Thanks for stopping by, Alex. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks for joining another Blab.Cafe. This is Blab.Cafe number 64, a place for you to introduce your business products and or services. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.